So I'm not really working on the Dart today. We're gonna to work on the F-150. I have uh, a bunch of front end components that need to go in it. So we're gonna at least start taking it apart and um, you know work on changing out those components. I've got uh, new inner and outer tie rod, new upper and lower ball joint, uh, and a new CV. And that should take care of that corner and I should be able to go get it uh, aligned and inspected, et cetera. Before we start taking the front end apart, we need to break the uh, CV shaft bolts loose and because you, once you once you get it up in the air you won't be able to I use a product called Aero Croil um, I find it's well first of all it's more expensive than PV Blaster um, but I find it does a way better job at breaking bolts loose What, what we're doing is using the weight of the vehicle to uh, help break the bolts loose. So we broke all the bolts loose on the, the CV shaft on the uh, on the truck side of the CV or the axle side of the CV. Now, before we can jack the truck up and put the jack stand underneath and take the tire off, we want to break the outer bolt loose on the CV shaft the, where where it goes through the hub. Uh, otherwise, you're not going to be able to do that when the tire is off because you need the weight of the truck on it to uh, help you break it loose. Pop our cap off there. Oh, this guy's got a uh, cotter pin in it. Pull our cotter pin off here. Now we need to get our cap off. This bolt, oh this nut is about 35, 36 millimeter in size. We'll use our, see if the impact gun will touch it. And it did. I've had these off before because I've changed the wheel bearings. This is our nut, this is our cap. Now we can go get our jack stand and we can loosen our lug nuts, uh, put the jack stand under the truck, and take the tire off, and start taking the, uh, the knuckle and stuff apart. Now all of our lugs are loose. They're three quarter uh, lugs. We can jack this up and put the jack stand under it. Sitting on the jack stand and the jack, um, I'm going to slide the tire under here. That's just a good practice that I've been taught over the years. First thing we're going to do here is take off this outer tie rod end. We're going to pop this guy out. So to do that, we can take this cotter pin out, which is super rusty because it's been in there for God knows how many years. I am going to shoot it with a little croil 
And I gotta get my socket. Then we'll hit it and pop it out. Then we'll take the caliper and the rotor off. <laughs> you can see this truck's been sitting for a while. Um, and we'll work on getting the uh, knuckle off and sliding the CV out. There we go. She's off. All right, so now we're gonna tap right about here. Well, my experience is, is that tapping doesn't really work. Like I said, in my experience, tapping here, especially on one that's been in there for so long, um, this is the original tie rod. Um, it's probably really in there. So uh, what I just did was I just snug the bolt back on so it's pretty flush so we don't destroy the um, tie rod threads. Um, and we're gonna take our hammer and hopefully it's gonna come out, but it's probably stuck in there. There we go. Just one good whack. Um, the downside of doing that is that, oh, maybe this will actually come off. Sometimes you can destroy the threads, but there we go. She's up and out. And actually that doesn't really feel that bad considering the truck has the death wobble. The other side was worse. All right, so that's out. Next step is to take the caliper off. Uh, I gotta get a bungee cord and hang that up so that we don't ruin the, the line here because these lines are fairly recent. There are two 18 millimeter bolts that hold this caliper on and they're kind of fun to get at because there's not really enough room for me to get in there with the uh, impact gun. So we have to get a little bit creative. loose. This one I don't think I need the extension on. There we go. Alright. Crack those guys loose. Switch over to our ratchet here. see this on camera. I always, I pull the bottom bolt first so that the caliper doesn't go flying off. So I use a pair of uh, wire cut, heavy wire cutters um, just to get the cotter pins out because a lot of the times they're pretty rusty. Like this guy is here, the top guy. This top one is not as bad because I've actually replaced this before. I've actually replaced the upper control arms because when I got the truck, it was, they were pretty, uh, I don't remember if the boots weren't there. There was, there was something, there's a reason why I replaced them. So they're pretty cheap. I think they have 50 bucks a piece or something like that from Rock Auto. So that bolt is a 15 16th. That one, I'm not sure. All right, again, unfortunately, I don't have a lift, so uh, we're gonna have to use the breaker bar on the bottom bolt joint here. And this is uh, easier said than done because, there we go. And hit here and release. All right, top one's out. Right. Again, my experience is that when it's rusty like that, you're not gonna get it out very easily. Also gotta disconnect the ABS line. 
a pickle fork or a front end fork and we'll stuff this guy in here and see if we can help pop this off. pushing that in in there and then giving this a tap down here oh, this guy's gonna be stubborn I got the ball joint disconnected the lower ball joint disconnected a um, couple of really good wax with the hammer um, this guy did jack nothing so um, sometimes it helps sometimes it doesn't so the next step that we have to take to work on this front end or to get this front end apart um, all the bolts we broke loose underneath for the cv we can now um i can find my adapter um we can now pull out this is the hard way we can't be heartache together This is the hard way to better We can't be heartache together This is the hard way to better We can't be heartache together This is the hard way to better Now that the CV's out of the way, the last piece we have to do here um, is this tie rod setup. So similar to before, um, pull the cotter pin, pull the bolt, and then uh, figure out how to get it out. Hopefully it comes out okay. Uh, oh yeah, that ball joint's really bad. You can see, let's look how much play is in that. No wonder the truck, I shouldn't be able to do that. It should be nice and stiff. It should be more like this guy up here. So pull this assembly off, this assembly, cotter pin over here trick to getting a cotter pin out this is how I do it um, so this is what a cotter pin looks like you straighten the two ends and if they're pretty rusty the reason I like to use these guys is I can grab the end and then pry against whatever I'm working on or trying to take apart and they usually come out like I said sometimes they come apart in pieces which is fun okay so what we did I just turned I just turn the wheel even further. Let's see if we can. Oh. It really does not want to come out. I spent a lot of time fighting with this guy. Um, I ended up pickle forking it. <laughs> That's how I got it out. Sorry I didn't get it on video. Um, that's pretty dry you can, and it's really stiff, but there's no, there's no grease left in it. This one's not too bad. So if you guys want to see how to do the bull joint, I already did a video on that, so I'm not going to do it again. Um, I'll put a link in the description or try and put a link in the video so you guys can go watch it if you want to see it. But uh, need a ball joint press, which I have, snap ring pliers, and a new ball joint. Uh, that's pretty, that part's pretty darn simple. Um, so I'm not going to show you how to do that because I already did a video and I'll just link now it in the description. We have to do the lower ball joint, upper control arm. I'm going to do the ball joint while the camera charges. What I have here is a very heavy box. Just kidding. This is the new CV. Uh, I think I got it from Summit. It's 
Cardone 66-2112. Um, it's the axle assembly. I think they were like 55 or 60 bucks a piece. This is what it looks like. It's very heavy. We'll throw the box over there. Who needs that? All right, so what we've got to do, oh wow, this is pretty greasy. So uh, what we need to do is get this bag off, bag off here, and you can see it's packed with grease. I'm really not sure why, because I don't remember the other side being that packed with grease. So we now need to Get this in here, and I don't know, I think the other one I got in. Nope. No. I'm gonna say that that's probably dead out of the box. That CV is no good. That would be why it's packed full of grease. This not supposed to be packed full of grease like this. It's supposed to be clean like this guy. So, um, all right, well, I ordered this a while ago, so it's probably no longer under warranty. So I guess I am going to stop here tonight and uh, I am going to order another CV and we will put this back together at a later date.